We're given the function f, which maps the set with elements one, two, and three to the set with elements one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're asked how many total functions are there, how many are injective, and how many functions are increasing, meaning if a is less than b, then f of a is less than f of b. Notice I've already set this up using two-line notation here on the right, where in the first row we have the elements from the domain, or the inputs. The second row will contain the outputs, or the elements from the range, which must come from the codomain, which is the set with elements one, two, three, four, five, and six. To determine the total number of functions, because there are six possible outputs for each of the three inputs, there are a total of six times six times six functions using the multiplicative or counting principle. Well, six times six times six is equal to six cubed, which is equal to 216. There are a total of 216 functions. And now to determine the number of injective functions, a function is injective if every element of the codomain is the image of at most one element from the domain. Injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range, but may have missed elements. There's a couple of approaches we can take using the counting principle or multiplicative principle. Because there are six elements in the codomain, there are six choices for the first output. But from here, because the elements from the codomain cannot be repeated in the range, there are only five choices for the next output, followed by four choices for the third output. The number of injective functions is equal to six times five times four, which is equal to 120. The second approach to determine the number of injective functions is to recognize that we can use a permutation here, where for a permutation, no item is used more than once, and the order of the arrangement does matter. So another way to determine the number of injective functions is to determine six permute three. Six, because there are six elements in the codomain, and three because there are three elements in the domain and to be injective, every element of the codomain is the image of at most one element from the domain. And let's just make sure six permute three is equal to six times five times four. N permute K is equal to N factorial divided by N minus K factorial. And therefore six permute three is equal to six factorial divided by six minus three factorial which is equal to six factorial divided by three factorial, which is equal to six times five times four times three factorial divided by three factorial. Three factorial divided by itself simplifies to one, leaving us with six times five times four, which is 120. There are 120 injective functions. And now to determine the number of increasing functions. Well, looking at the function in two-line notation, Notice how the inputs or the elements from the domain are already increasing from left to right, which means f is increasing as long as the outputs are increasing from left to right. In order to ensure the outputs are increasing from left to right, we would have to choose any three elements from the codomain, but then order them from least to greatest, and then place them in here as outputs from left to right. And therefore, the number of increasing functions is going to be six choose three. Again, we can choose any three outputs from the codomain and then order them from least to greatest and then place them in the range here from left to right, which will make the function f an increasing function. So again, there are six choose three increasing functions. Six choose three is equal to six factorial divided by the product of six minus three factorial and three factorial. Let's go and simplify six factorial is equal to six times five times four times three factorial. Let's expand one of the three factorials as three times two times one, and then times three factorial. Simplifying three factorial divided by itself simplifies to one. In the denominator, we have three times two, which is six. There's also a six in the numerator. Six divided by six simplifies to one. We're left with five times four, which is 20. There are 20 increasing functions. I hope you found this helpful.